Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have recently bought a PS Vita because um, it was on sale somewhere uh, about a month ago and I didn't really have any games for it. I bought Gravity Rush and been playing that for the past month or so uh, whenever I'm on a move. Um, but uh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago or so, I bought a couple of games, one of which was this one, Sorcery Saga Curse of the Great Curry God and it's the uh, Hot and Spicy Everything Nicey Limited Edition. Now, you may guess from the title that this game is not very serious. Um, supposedly, it's about, um, it's, a, it's a dungeon crawler, randomly generated dungeon crawler, so a lot like, um, I think, Etrian Odyssey is like that, and most few other games, but that's the one I shouldn't, uh, currently remember. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of funny, and Japanese, Japanese and cutish, made by, uh, translated by Axis, uh, who have a lot of random games and a lot of RPGs. Uh, like this one, I already uh, took the shrink wrap off. Um, box got smashed in my uh, backpack. Uh, but this one, and it's just before I'm opening it any further, it, um, yeah, it should hold uh, the uh, a cute uh, curry uh, plate, a awesome curry spoon, and a bibelicious bib. Yes, this contains baby stuff, basically. Um, <coughs> there. The box is empty, other than that. Uh, yeah, the game, I'll open that in a sec, and a bag full of goodies. Well, there is the spoon, which is yellow and has, I'm guessing that's Q, I think it said here somewhere on the back what it was about. Uh, it was one of those days with our, uh, let's try that again. It was one of our, uh, one of those days for our, ad in ad I am really going to need to learn to read stuff from paper. Um, it was one of those days for our inadvertent heroine Pupudu. Was started out with her uh, was start started out with her acing the final exam at school, quickly descended into anarchy with Pupudu being unceremoniously expelled, settled with the mysterious being named Ku, and prodded into making the legendary curry. And that's only the beginning of the insanity. So I'm guessing that is the uh, the uh, Ku uh, thingy. Uh, which kind of looks like, um, oh, I've got the name now. I think it's Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff, something like that. And the uh, and the enemies, or the not the enemies, the uh, the weird puffy creatures from um, Tsubasa Chronicle, uh, in that thing over there. No, any, no, it's probably on here as well. Anyway, uh, yeah. So it's a yellow spoon. And the rest of the bag got smashed. Uh, then there is, the, yeah, that's it, uh, a plate shaped like a uh, Q. Uh, yeah, this is uh, probably not for use. Oh, it is. Food safe, microwave safe, uh, not dishwasher safe and made in China. So you can actually eat from this, uh, but let's not do that. It's pretty cute and uh, funny. And it, as I said, a bib with, um, those all look like ingredients that go into a curry. Uh, there's an eggplant, there's a chicken, there's an onion. I have no idea what that is. That'll be a habanero pepper, I think, because it's red and looks spicy. Uh, eggs and other stuff. Uh, tofu, maybe. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, looks like, yeah, well, weird stuff. Ah, uh, well, pretty funny. Um, and the game, let's open that one up. Game work should probably hold nothing other than the game card. Yeah, well, there, there are no booklets anymore. They have all the um, game info on disc. Uh, so it's kind of a big box just for a single game. I mean, that's it's not very big. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, a bib, a plate, and a spoon. And, of course, the game. Pretty simple uh, limited edition. I think it's the US only one as well. Uh, it happened to have a store that imports them. Over here which is nice uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time